Okay, guys, uh, let's continue uh, the last part of this and then we can start grade 11 lesson. I think uh, to start the grade 11 lesson number one from December, right? Because we can discuss some questions. After discussing the questions uh, related to grade, because uh, half of uh, your questions from all level paper are from grade 10. Right? Half of the questions from uh, grade 10, right? Most of the questions, like uh, half of the questions will come from grade 10. Therefore, uh, we need to focus on grade 10 syllabus uh, well. And after that, uh, the grade 11 um, thing also, the 50% of... Uh... Okay. Let's continue. So we have already discussed about the database part, database concept, why tables are important. And also, um, so now actually today's lesson, we have to discuss about this relationship between uh, the table, how we can create, select, how we can do um, uh, relationships, how we can create relationships in the table. This is very important because these are called relational databases. That means these tables or the relations tables or the relations that we create need to be linked api hadana table relation eva athara sambandha avak tiyenna ona kohomada meka sambandha wenne right we cannot store all the data in single table that is not good for an example student and student marks so one student may have marks for many subjects and students may take many subjects right one student may have many subjects one student may have marks for many subjects. One student may have exams for many subjects. So that is called one to many relationship. Then subject, one student can do many subjects. So subject table and student table. So one subject can be done by many students. One subject can be done by many students. Right? So one subject can be done by many students and one, one student can do many subjects. That, that is called the relation. That is called the uh, relationship between these. Okay, let's see these two tables just to understand what is going on there. Here you can see the marks table and student table. Student Kavindu Prabhashwara, admission number is 1426. Kavindu Prabhashwara, there are like four students. Kavindu, uh, Meena Devi, Muhammad and Ra uh, Rashmi. So you have one single student, one Tamil student, one Muslim student and I don't know maybe brother like I don't know like anyway uh, you have few four students in our class okay all four students here one table this table is student table and marks table you can see uh, students okay so if I ask question okay can you tell me the full marks of uh, Muhammad uh, Malik Kar can 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 you tell me the marks of Muhammad Malik Kar please Marks of Mohammed Malikar just by looking at this table. Okay, those who have joined recently, we are in end of uh, the grade 10 session. Uh, we are quickly revising that because part of your, uh, actually 50% of your question paper is coming from grade 10. That's why I'm paying attention to this stuff. And grade 11, I will start from the beginning, uh, grade 11 discussion from uh, th this month, this is uh, 21st uh, November. 21st November means I will be starting. 27 also, I will do some questions. And after that, uh, first week of December, I will start uh, the new lesson for uh, grade 11. So you can start grade 11 in a fresh way, right? All of you can start grade 11 in a fresh way. That's why I uh, want to finish this stuff. Okay, so don't worry. Just listen. So sometimes you may feel a little uncomfortable, but don't worry. When you start uh, doing from the lesson number one, grade 11, you will understand and also fo focus that, also, also know that in your examination, e even though you like or not, 50% of the stuff will come from grade 10, right? Okay, uh, so I asked, okay, marks of Mohammed Marikka. Mohammed Hoya Garne. Admission number is 1428. It's got a make a topic here, no? This is basically this admission number is unique. Okay, let me highlight. Uh, 
this admission number is unique. When there is a unique value, and this unique value can be used to identify the particular record, we call that record a name. Can anybody remember that name? Part of the matter. Yam kisi unique value vekak tiena wana. A unique value we can table like a record andura dana puluana. If there's a unique value, and that unique value can be used to identify the record, that unique value column is given a name. Can anybody? This is admission number. You can see 1426. It's not, not repeating. Everyone having that value is not repeating. It's non repetitive and it's unique. And it is compulsory. Okay, mandatory, non repetitive, unique. That is called a name. That is given a name. What is the name? Who's going to tell me the name? Primary key. Yes, exactly. Primary key. That is the primary key. What, what are the features of primary key? These are examination questions. What are the features of primary key? It is unique. That's not repeated, not repeating. None. Repetitive. Please write down if you don't know. It's unique, non repetitive, and it is not null, means not empty. Right? It's not null, means it's not empty. And it is used to identify. A row or record uniquely. Okay, these are the features of primary key. E -E 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 -E. Okay, primary key. Okay, primary key is a unique non repetitive value. It is not null. And it is used to identify row or record uniquely. Mindini, your answer is correct. Yes. And somebody else also said the answer. That answer is correct. So this is what the primary key. Okay, Lakmali, one question for you. Uh, the recordings, uh, the kids are telling that some recordings are missing. Uh, so did you upload all the records? Available. I think she's again not there in the class. Okay. Good, good, good. It's appearing and disappearing like a magician. Okay, I, I will contact her and get back to you, right? Don't worry. Okay, okay. Now, now, when primary key is going to represent that row in another table, that is also given a name. Okay, here you can see admission number is the primary key because it is unique name. Admission number is the primary key. A cake a value a unique duplicate ne empty ne row a identifier again up pull one the hatra is a kiwama while I call it name and is call level up admission number kiwama yaka the kilo hagan pull one that is why it's called the primary key are the okay a primary key a when this primary key is there in another table when this primary key is there in another table a cut a namaki and a primary key a car yaw and you open a car and a winner table like a cut a yam that is given a name. So it's called foreign key. Can you repeat? Foreign key. Yes, Vimandi, I agree. It is called foreign key. Yeah, Giyama, foreign. It representing. Representing. Yeah, up your Nirupan ekarana. When a table like a Giyama ekar, foreign key ekar kela kena. Are you the main magi dek? Up your Nirupan ekaran, up a Amatila rata gihila? Neither. Our ministers, they go to. Uh, Conferences in another country, maybe UN conference, different conference, and represent our country because the entire country cannot go there. No, right? The entire row cannot be copied and pasted in this table, right? Understand that. The Mulu Ratatame and the UN conference to represent Sri Lanka, we cannot go to UN conference. Therefore, we are selecting a person to represent us. Samane Janata Niojit Yogi, like a Nebula. But normally they are called representatives, our representatives. They go to represent us. Eva Getama, Mulu table like him, record the copy, copy paste current net our table like it. Okay, let's say Kavinduke Lakunu the unknown. Ema Kela Kavinduke admission nekadala, Kavindu Prabash or Kela Dala, Kavinduke date of birth, Nekadala, Masudala, index Sudala, comatic again in Amehim. 
instead of that we only put kavindu's primary key so then that is called foreign key okay what is foreign key foreign key is a primary key of another table right primary key of another table api dem meva hadala baluwa giya sathe today we are not going to do the practical other practical karanna puluwan ehema karanna gidu mana vela yana we have to finish this ne anyway i will try to do small amount of practical but not full ya api balama try ekak demo let's do try to do the practical also but if time permits we'll do the practical otherwise i will explain this because my target is to finish this part today that is called the foreign key okay this is creating the relationship okay one student yage marks on eka tanaka thiyena for 27 29 okay so this is you can see in this table what is the relationship <laughs> this table one record will have corresponding record in this table one table of this will have corresponding one record one table of this correspond in one record one table one record of this and represent in one record this is called one to one relationship one to one it is one to one why one record in this table has one record relevant to that so we call one to one relationship okay right you can see okay i asked uh, mohammed marikka's mark mohammed marikka's mark is mohammed marikka ke primary ki ek ho gata ek foreign ki ek ho gata ek mark ho gata 172 okay these questions will be common in your exam now you know the primary ki now you know the foreign ki now you know the one to one relationship okay shall i erase this or do you need to copy down or take a photo or screenshot anyway you will get the recording but don't wait till the recording if you need anything you write down or you can use pencil to draw this in your book you can use pencil to mark this in your book also page number 270 in grade 10 book okay okay move into the next if you are done i move into the next do we need more time please tell me if you need more time please tell me vela vedi purona kiyanna if you need more time please tell me okay i think no one needs more time so i move into the next okay no one needs more time means i move into the next right okay okay next erase in this now this is one to one relationship one student has one mark record one mark record is belongs to one student we call one to one relationship okay one to one relationship okay let's see uh, this relationship in the design view okay do, do you have who has access you can share the screen because practically we can see them practically we can see if you can share this please 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 who's going to share the screen if you have access you can share open access please open microsoft access sorry sir yeah, i don't have access it was a mistake oh, oh, oh okay okay any anyone having access can share let me see because i just want to show how this relationship that okay microsoft access or you can use database as uh, database in what uh, open office open office i said you to install this either mamu kiyo deke enne ekak install karanna kiyala either you have to install access but access is a paid software or you can use the open office okay no one is ready to do that so can we use lazarus sorry can we use lazarus for that lazarus okay can use you can use you have that yes sir can you share okay sir
Can you please uh, share? I, I can only see the Zoom stream. I think you have shared the uh, window, Bimandi. I can only see your Zoom screen. Can you share the entire screen? Okay, I will stop there and then you can share again. Can you share it again? You can share it again. Right, okay. This is uh, your source editor. Again, you have shared a window. Uh, uh, uh. Again, you have shared a window. There's a problem. So what is it? Window that I'm sharing? You have to share the entire screen. Screen. Can option it down there. Now you have to close this and stop this and reshare. Uh, okay, you know, share, you know, you know, you know, basic for a screen. You can, you have to select that screen. Don't select windows. Do not select any window. Okay, right. Okay. Now uh, you can see the Lazarus IDE. Uh, yeah. Have you connected this to any database? No. Have you connected this to any database there? I can see. Oh, it's only the IDE part. Then, then is a problem. You can use that, but you have to connect that to a database. Okay, that doesn't matter, right? You can. There are different databases you can connect. Right? This is only the form part. Making what happen on the front front side deck with the because it's not connected to any databases, and you can only see the uh, front part, right? Front end part. You can only see the front end part, and maybe maybe a easy tool you can use a. Uh, uh, it's local host. Let's see. Uh, Sam, I'm using MAMP there. But these these uh, tools, they like you don't have this for your examination. You have access or open open office database one. That's a problem. Okay, let's search MAMP. In MAMP also, this uh, date designer feature is there. I'll try to show you and I'll start the servers. This is another one. But again, in your examination, you will not be given this. Because mainly they will ask questions from this theory part. HTTP. All and double slash local host. Okay, it's loaded. PHP my admin. Huh? P PHP my admin. Okay, this is the database. Uh, available there and there also when you go to a db okay i will go to db i have created already a database that database has two tables you can see there tb uh, customer and tbl student and let's go to the designer and i will show you how designer looks like okay this is the dbl customer and this is the student mm, student id customer uh, first name. no you don't have any relationship let's go to the database Okay, here you have a student, TBL class, TBL student, four tables. Let's go to the designer. Okay, now can you see here? Okay. These are called relationships. Can you see? Okay, this student, here this is subject table. Subject ID, subject name, subject medium. One subject can be followed by many Teachers, sorry, sorry, one subject can be taught by many teachers. Because subject is the math skill subject. I math sugana and teachers are good. I am going to make a one put a with another numbers. Dalana, even not a dalatin in the Mavagaka, crow food. This is called crow food notation. 
ෆුට් කියන්නේ කපුටගේ කකුල. හරි. ඒ මෙතන තියෙන්නේ මේ කකුල් ගොඩක්නේ. මෙතන තනි කකුලක්නේ. වන් ලෙග් මෙනි ලෙග් නේ. ඒ තියෙන්නේ වන් ටු මෙනි රිලේෂන්ෂිප් එකක්. මෙතනත් එහෙමයි. වන් ටීචර් එක ටීචර් කෙනෙක් ක්ලාස් ගොඩක උගන්වන්න පුළුවන්. වන් ටු මෙනි. මෙතනත් එහෙමයි. එක ක්ලාස් එකක ස්ටුඩන්ට්ස්ලා ගොඩක් ඉන්න පුළුවන්. වන් ටු මෙනි. මේව තමයි රිලේෂන්ෂිප් කියලා කියන්නේ. Just get an idea, right? No need to think much. Just get an idea. This is called pro foot notation. If you don't have any pro foot, in your book, they are putting uh, these numbers, right? If you don't have one to many, they are putting the numbers. Pro foot, one to one, one to many, one to many, one to many, one to many, one to many. One to, this is kind of a one to many relationship. I make it a one to many. You can see one admission number. One admission number appear in two places. This is the primary. Understand this. Most of the students cannot understand this well, right? Good ask students let me part take a back. Why they cannot understand this? The reason is Because uh, they think this, this, the lesson is difficult. No, it is not difficult. Only problem is they are not following this properly. Right? They are practical. They are not practical. They are not practical. They are not practical. They are not practical. That can happen. So be careful. So when you do the practical, it will be very, very easy. Right? When you do the practical, it will be very, 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 very easy. Right? That's the thing. හරි අපි බලමුකෝ මේ 1426 බලන්න තැන් දෙකක තියෙනවා හරිද 1426 තැන් දෙකක තියෙනවා මේ එතකොට මේකට අපි කියනවා 1 to many යයි එක ඇඩ්මිෂන් නම්බර් එකක් මේකේ තැන් කීප් එක තියෙනවා ප්‍රයිමරි කී ෆොරින් කී 1 ප්‍රයිමරි කී මෙනි ප්ලේසස් හේතුව කවින්දු රුපියල් 40ක් ෆී එකක් ගෙවලා තියෙනවා ආපහු කවින්දු ඇවිල්ලා මේ කඩේකට යනවා කියලා හිතමු කො මේ ෆැසිලිටි ෆීස් හරිද කඩේකට නෙමෙයි ඉස්කෝලෙට් කවින්දු ඇවිල්ලා ස්කූල් ෆී ගෙවලා තියෙනවා එක් පළවෙනි මාසේ 4 වෙනිදා රුපියල් 40 මේ ඇවිල්ලා පරණ කවින්දු කෙනෙක් මොකද රුපියල් 40ට දැන් ස්කූල් ෆී ගෙවන්න බෑනේ this is like very old කවින්දු අර අමර නයනා සල්ගස යටට එන්න ජාති very old කවින්දු right this very old kind කවින්දු has paid uh, 40 rupees Okay, very old Kamindu has paid 40 rupees. Next time, Kamindu rupiah la suha gewa la tiye no, 80 rupees. This is another, like Kamindu has paid two invoices or is two payments. Normally, when you go to schools, you do many payments, then you come to our centers, you come to our online class and you pay, you come to our online class and you pay us Maybe for November you have paid. For October also you have paid. Maybe for September also you have paid. So you are paying many times. Okay, example. I will take practical example. Uh, okay, let's take uh, Bimandi. Uh, Bimandi's registration number is 4523-877. 4523-877. Has paid for September. Has paid for October. Then... Uh, uh, 4528-23877 has paid for November also. So that can be. Multiple receipts. That is one too many. I, I'll show this in app sheet table, right? Up app sheet. So let's go and see the practical in app sheet. Why I'm using these examples? App sheet, uh, this uh, app sheet, uh, SAM, VAM, all these things to show you that it's very common. Any database works the same way. Hari dehi nda patla gaan ne pa. Aphi app sheet ut kara database ekata access with rai kare na te. Access serge computer ke tibbe na hai. Ehe me itan ne pa. Mona database ekit thi ne kama tika. Technology ke with rai vena. Okay, let's sign in. Oh, I have to go to my other one. Sorry. App sheet. Okay, uh, let's go to the student registration. I will show how this works.
Okay. Uh, let's go and load the app sheet. App sheet. App sheet. Okay. Let's see. The api balamu ek practical leka koi wagi mangko na students la sam samane de tum par agge wano ke la. Api hema balamu hema vela tiye na vela val. Okay. Uh, let's go to. Uh, okay. Let's go to. Kavi kavi du kavi du. Hema tari na kavi du kine me na alut kavi du kine kare. Kavi du. Let's click on Kavindu. Yes, okay, still it is loading. Okay, this is Mr. Kavindu Netsara Bandara. Okay, you can see Kavindu Netsara Bandara has done four payments. Right? First payment is third month. Second payment is fourth month, April. Fourth, the third payment is seventh. May, June, July. August, September. So he has done four payments. These are not dollars. This is my mistake. These are in rupees, right? Otherwise, I'm a very rich person because they are paying in dollars. Right? Kavind has paid 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, 3, 3. Altogether, 15,000, 18,300. That is the total payment. And Kavindu has paid that four times. So, this is payment table. This is payment table. Let me show this payment table to you, right? To get, get an idea. Uh, view data source. And this is, this is uh, student table, right? Student table. Here, Kavindu Netsara Bandara. In student table appears only one time. Mr. Kavindu Netsara Bandara appears only one time in this table. Okay, now going to the next. May table like Kaparai. Let's go to another table. This has payment, right? This has payment. Let's see the data source. This is another table. Okay, what is the registration ID of Kavindu Netsara Bandara? It is SST uh, 1001. Okay. I'm searching that record. I'm searching that record. Okay, you can see here. This is 1001. This is 100. Then make a Kavindu details. Kalin table like Kavindu Nam Gam Okoma Dibba. That is different table. But this table is a payment table. Payment table 1001 is coming to Netsara Bandara. Yeah, it's a payment to 5000. The second payment, 5000. Okay, going down. Coming to here, third payment, seventh month, 5000. Going down. Coming to another payment, ninth month, 3300. Okay, can you understand Kavindu's record is there four times in this second table. But previously in the first table, Kavindu's name is there only one time. So what is the relationship? Is it one to one or one to many? One to many. One to many. One. Exactly, one to many. Did you understand the concept? Name appear one time, payment appear four times. Did you understand this? Yes. Okay, if I repeat this name four times, what will happen? That is unnecessary duplication, right? Do I need to write the name again and again four times to get the payment? Normally, we do write in the manual receipt. Get the name appeal in the manual receipt. Now, coming to coming to coming to coming to kill a hatra clean. Pandahi 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 tundas panse kill a hatra clean. Coming to get address with hatra para clean. Coming to get telephone numbers with hatra para clean. But these are electronic databases. So you don't want to write Kavindu's name again, 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 four times. You don't want to write Kavindu's address four times. You don't want to write Kavindu's telephone number four times. You don't want to write Kavindu's course four times. You can write Kavindu's name one time, but payments, payments are like, there are four payments. No, you can write four times. Thereby, you can reduce the number of duplicates. That is called one to many relationship. We practically show how this is happening in the database. This is one to many. Okay, <clears throat> tables support one-to-one -one relationship. This is called cardinality, right? The number of records interact. 
this relationship is called cardinality. Make a namak, you know, cardinality. Yeah. Right? This, this relationships can exist. They are one to one, one to many, or many to many. One to one can a table like a record deck, a table like a record deck at a connect. One to many, one record is connected to many, many records. Another table. Many to many, maybe one to many, lean head. Ekapatha keka and empathy ananthe infinity. One to many. One to many. Many to many relationships. These relationships should be avoided. May wapi database of the end of the name Harima Karadarai. Many to many. Then why they come a table like it? Many to many tibbine. When I go, when I go visit this and I try to show this relationship, you hear many to many. They pat them a draw food. Many to many. Eh me wapi tiagani. Abi break down can make a one to many wallet. Because when there are many to many, it's very difficult to assign a primary key and very difficult to connect them. So very difficult to keep that tables when the relationship is many to many. Therefore, we will not allow. Here, this is a many to many example. Kavindu is playing cricket. Same Kavindu is playing football. Here, Mohammed is playing cricket. Mohammed playing football. Mohammed playing volleyball also. What a Mohammed. Janit playing cricket. Janit playing volleyball. So this kind of table we will not maintain. Why? You can see here how many duplicates. Kavindu, Kavindu, two times. Mohammed, 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 three times. Janit, Janit, two times. Unnecessary duplication. Right? Unnecessary repeats. We avoid that. And also, can can we find a primary key there? Can you say, can you show me a primary key? Primary key is a unique. Make a unique the nah. This is duplicating. Can you see? Two duplicates. One, two duplicates. No, it's duplicating. One, two, three duplicates. No. It's not a primary key. Two duplicates. Two duplicates. It's not a primary key. This is also duplicating, not a primary key. Data for duplicating, not a primary key. Cricket, football. Cricket here, cricket here, cricket here, duplicating. Football here, football here, uh, two times. Volleyball, two times. It's duplicating. Team, duplicating. So we we don't have any primary key. How to do that? This is so this is not good. This is not good. No primary key. So not good. We avoid many to many. Right? We have to avoid. Because here data duplication. What is the problem of many to many? Data duplication. It's a problem. They have therefore let us break this data into separate tables. To minimize the data duplication, we do that. We will never keep this many to many. If we keep this, the database will not be efficient. Therefore, we need to divide. Right? We need to divide into multiple. Okay, that is the idea. Okay, let's go to the next part. Let me erase this stuff. So many to many relationship. Here, how, how this is how we go, we are going to break down. Admission number. Now you have primary key. Balan primary key ka kena vidyata. Student table leka venama hadagata. Now you have a primary key. For three students. Okay? You have a primary key. It's a sport table leka venama liyagata. Sorry. I have to delete this, right? Wait, look at look at how this happened. One time, a couple in Terunga and database lesson, like a good akati anagana. Most of the people will not understand the database lesson because they think it is difficult. It's not, it's not, it's not. Okay, see now how we are going to divide admission number, unique primary key is there, sport number, unique primary key is there by combining here, here to here. What is the relationship from here to here? Can anybody tell? Here to here, what is the relationship? 
here to here what is the relationship one to one or one to many here to here one to many one to many mokada make ekar record ekak tan dekak wage thiyena one to many right okay what is relationship from here to here one to one or one to many मेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनिमेनि
I can select the student and do the payment. Okay, let's say I want to put payment to Sanula Bimsa. I can select Sanula and I can create the reset ID. I can select the course that Sanula has re uh, registered. Sanula has registered Sanula's course. I can select that and do the payment. This is called a form because we can we are not normally entering the database directly. Uh, directly entering values to database is not because we have already connected the database. Now we have to use a form to enter data. Okay, let's say I want to enter a course. I want to enter student. This is student payment. Just want to uh, register student. You can go there, click here, and start registering a new student. Let's think that our class, any new student today. Okay, let's say uh, I want to register. Okay, no one is there. All life system students. I think new students will think the class is very difficult for them. Maybe there's a reason. Okay, so then you can put the registration ID. Let's say yes. S S uh, T zero zero some number, okay. Then uh, the student name, new student. I have to select new student, and then I have to enter the details of the student: first name, middle name, last name, date of birth, address, all these things. This is what called a form. After entering, I can save. That will go to the database. Okay. When I insert student, that student record will go to the database. If I insert payment, that payment will go to the database. Okay, let's insert a payment and see. Cost registration and uh, daily payments. I want to put a payment for day today. Okay, let's say pay ID is uh, okay. Pay ID is basically the payment of the particular student registration number. Then I have to select the course. Mahesh Nimna's course is Mahesh Nimna, uh, her course. And maybe if I put, okay, I, I put 1,000 payment there. And pay ID also I can put. When I save, type is cash payment. When I save this, it will go and record in this database table. Okay, uh, Mahesh's uh, name is not there, but... It will go and record in this, 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 this color, right? Pay ID, student registration number, course registration number. Okay, let me do this. I'm doing this a dummy record, but very, very important. When I put this, it will go to her payments. I have to be extra careful if something happened that will damage the system. Let's put the sample, right? Sample data one, right? Mahesh Nimna. You can see my computer, right? Screen. Payment is 1000 cash payment. Let's save, right? Okay. When you save that, the number one thing, you can see that in the daily payment, today's payment. Today is 11.21, okay? And today's payment, you can see 1000 rupees by Mahesh Dimna. Let's update this. Okay, that thousand rupees now should be appearing in this table. Can you see? Sample data. This is Mahesh Nimnas first and the payment P01 and it has come there. It is cash payment of thousand rupees. I will delete this from the database. Otherwise, what will happen? Otherwise, it's showing wrong figures. Therefore, I'm deleting this, right? Can I delete? Uh, mm, mm, mm. Delete. Pro. Okay. I've deleted and let's come back. Let's refresh and see whether it's there in the record. Okay, no, it's removed, right? It's removed. Otherwise, it will reflect there also. Now, can you understand why, why there is there are forms because entering these records these keys and all we can't remember them right how we can remember the keys primary keys foreign keys 
Can you remember this? Is it easy? It's very difficult, right? Here, SST, what is Mahesh name, Nas Nam, all these things need to be remembered. That's not easy. But when you use form, it is automated. Okay, to here you can see data input through the form, right? And you can display data through the forms. This is animal galevala. Data is displayed in the form. I saw that. Nimal galevala is like common kegol. Data entering can be done through the form. Data retrieval can be done for the form. Record entry and record going to the next record, next record. All these things can be done from the form. To design that you have to use an interface like this and add the fields and add the values. And you can add these buttons also. We have to do that actually. I will do this next week. But this won't be asked in the examination. After that, you will, you will see this add record in this form after designing the form. And after that, you can decide what to do in this button. When you click on this button, add record. When you click on this button, delete record. You can assign the job roles, what to do with this. And uh, after that, you can write queries. Queries means retrieving data, getting data. Right here, these are the queries. Can you see? When I click on this, after entering daily records, After entering uh, this record, okay, daily payment, right? One thing is that will be appeared in this under her payment, under the student's payment, and un under the monthly collection, monthly payments, it will be appeared there under the monthly payments. So that is the next thing. When I enter data, it will appear there and it will appear in these reports. How these reports generated? These are called queries. These are called queries. We can retrieve data in the way that we like. We need details of all the students. Okay, all the students are here. We need details of some students. Some students are here. Like us, we can customize. Okay. We can customize. Okay, we need students got more than uh, student uh, birthday is equal to uh, 2014. That will come there. So these queries are possible. Okay, I will show you sample data again. How queries can be run right and finally these are called reports reports are basically based on the queries what is given what is printed in the screen is called report this is marks report okay based on the queries what is printed in the screen what is given in the screen what is presented in the screen is called a report and these are reports you can print them this is a report you can print them because of the query this report came right Without the query, report won't come. But with the query, the report will come. I will show another thing very quickly. This is data uh, studio. Uh, or Lucas Studio. You can create, you can do this uh, with Lucas Studio also. These are new trends, right? These are not uh, related to access because access is very old. There are now new things. Lucas Studio is also a new thing. Where you can create databases, create tables, create reports. Okay, let's see. I have this uh, address report. Okay, these are also sample data. This is not accurate. These are just uh, sample data reports that we created just for the testing purpose. So don't worry. Sometimes maybe. Uh, Okay, uh, can, can you tell me like any anyone uh, is here, uh, anyone is here from, okay. can you tell me if anyone is here from these schools, Politros, uh, Ratnavali, Mahagama Sekara, Siddhartha, CNN, any, anyone, this is related to Gampa. Anyone here from these schools? Please tell me. No one, no one from the schools in Gampa? Wow, nice. How does that make schools in Gampa? No one from Gampa, right? That's good. Okay. How how to get these are reports, right? These are reports. These all are reports. Okay. I need uh, example. I need school. I need uh, students from. Okay. 
I need a student from CNN National School. Only from CNN National School. And also, I need their birthday to be in... Okay, I need those who born in 2006. From CNN National School. Matona CNN National School like they does high padunakati. I put CNN National School here, Metani Mandema they does high here. The Rehma Kidene Kino, the two hundred and thirty nine in Mata Eki on a male slavitra, Pirimikati with I just need the male students only. Okay, male students only. Hemia Ekasia Hatali Satra Kino. CNN National School like they does high paduna, Pirimila my. Now, this is example. This is an example how it works. Sorry, I'm not well today to shout, but anyway, I had to do the class because I, I said that I will be finishing within this month. All these things. Grade 10 is officially over with this. Now we know how queries. This, this is a query. What we create is a query. Based on that query, we got a report, and this is the report. Okay. This is the report. And you can see in this report, there are names, addresses, uh, date of birth, etc. Okay. These are the reports. This is just sample data, right? This report has all the details of such students. 144 students should be there in the database. Here, 100, tower 44, you know, in a page again. That is called a report. Understood how this is working? Yes, yes. Javiru, same thing. Javiru is asking an important question. Is there a similar database system going on the website login registration page? Yes, exactly. Yes, same, same. Only thing is the technology is different, right? Takshane, technology is different. Without a date, that a date, man, the web page, all the any database, like access, never access, never. It's in the end, but that's why Oracle, the end, pull one. MySQL, the end, pull one. MS SQL, the end, pull one. Post three SQL, the end, pull one. Different databases, database systems. But same thing, no? Then, why are you friend list list dependent on the Facebook? Yeah. When you log into Facebook, friend list. Friend list can be other. It's a report. Or friend or add can or friend can. Friend can add can or the venue. Or one to many relationship that are created. I record the can. Friend get that. May I get the apito me Facebook again? I'll look at Karagana. Minisungi data may be Facebook again. Minisungi data, Pitam, Mithanathi, and a main user data basic. Hurry. User one, two, three, on a user, user table like a thing. The tower table at the friend table. At them, Matawara can make a one to many the killer, not a one to one the killer. User friend. Facebook can pick a tag. You all know about Facebook, right? Okay. Is it one to one or one to many? One user has one friend or one user has many friends? One too many? One too many, exactly. Have I made my friend connect with the user connect with the user? How about user connect with the friend connect with the Right? User, the friend is another user, right? Okay, I am I am Facebook user. Let's say I am Facebook user. My name is Dasun Nilanjan. And Mindini is also there in my friend list. Let's example, right? Not, not actual example. Mindini uh, is there in my friend list. Mindini is also a user. I'm also a user. So, Mama in the main table, like me in the Dasun Kilita, or D. Me in Mindini. And Dasun and Mindini both are users. Have a happy them. Mama Mindini add can put a main name card done on Dasun key user at the friend table. Like Etha put a Dasun key and a user key Agmagi ID a kiss or him. On a friend key and I cut a mindini ID a cavatena. It was a mava ad karagata date take a vatena. A cava that curricula piaganepe. On a friend table like a record deca patron. At the mama ad karagano hic mava. At the dasun key and a table like on I maga primary key, maga ID acre. Hic maga primary key, yagi ID acre. They have ad karabu date take. I eleven mamalaksha ad karagat. Okay, that's one key. I mean, primary key. Eka, either main table like that. My name, I mean, that kind of lakshya ya ke primary key. Eka, add a date. Eka, this is the friend list. One to many relationship. 
mama aim karna lakshya wa friend again ara harela okay that will be deleted from here but lakshya is still there in the user database user table understood what is happening in the website this is also same same thing same thing same logic and when you log in you can see the friend list friend list is a report are friend list ekak ganne ekak mokadda it's a query obtaining friend list is a query so remember the names right me wage nam mataka thiya ganna this very important friend friend uh, like in registering user ekak like form ekak user kenek register wenawa kiyanne form ekak understand this difference registering user is a form is like this okay registering user is a form see user details a facebook ekade gihilla man balana user details okay I'll let really go to the facebook is it there in my computer yeah i may have but okay. okay let's go there okay right okay this is my facebook let's go to dasun nilanjana this is user details user details what is this this is a report this is a report okay what is this i'm creating a post this is a form this is a form i'm creating a post it's a form and this is a report i go to friends now it is a query query right man kena mata okko friends lai pa mata ona recently added friend la ona query eka new query and it shows me the result na mata ehemat te pa mata ona me महेश And now you can see it's only Maheshi Saka. This is called query. Apni mail liye mukad query. And what is this report? Understood. Adar make it tiene forms, queries, reports. Okay, this is form. This is how to design the form. Add in, remove in. And when you create a form, you can write queries. When you write queries, you will get results. okay the results are presented to you in forms not forms actually reports sorry results are presented to you in reports okay with that particular big chapter is over and now 50% of marks are there remain in 50% we will be start in from december next week also you have class because we will be discussing some questions from examination papers just to officially finish grade 10 after that we will be starting 11 in december right okay then good night see you all next week good night sir good bye thank you sir good night